What up guys, welcome to another Phantom Sound tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make melodic dubstep lead, a kinda flux pavilion vibe, really fat and harmonic. And here's the preview of what we are going to be looking at in this video. And here's the lead itself. Sounds really fancy and we are going to find out how to synthesize one right away. Let's start from scratch. And the first oscillator is going to be the basic MDC. Drag the LFO to the wave table position of this oscillator and set it at 8. And make the LFO look like this. Set it to a full bar. And create this kind of envelope. Move it down a bit. Turn on the triggering. Automate the level of the first oscillator using it and let's go to the filter and select the all passes one. Drag the LFO to the cutoff and to the resonance. Move the resonance down and set and move this automation at around 65 or 70. And set drive at 2 o'clock. Let's turn on the mono and the legato and set the port time at 12 o'clock. Let's use the sub with the LFO automation on the level, set it at 70. And we're going to enable the noise. I'm going to use the one from the organics section. It's the air can one, set a pitch at 70, move the level down and automate it, set it at around 15. Nice, let's go to the fixes tab and turn on the hyper dimension, move the both mixes all the way down and as well as the size. Automate it using the first LFO as well. Set it at 20 over here and at 30 or 25 on this knob. Makes a big difference and let's move on and add a bit of a distortion using the soft clip. Set the drive all the way down and automate it using the first LFO once again. Set it at 55 or so. Next, we are going to enable the EQ and create a bit of the automation on both bands. So the first frequency at around 30 Hz. Automate it, set it at 50 and set the gain at around 12 decibel. Now we have a bit of a four month effect on this sound and let's also automate the second band, move the frequency knob all the way up, drag this automation down and set gain at minus 10. Awesome, let's move on. We are going to use the multiband compression and with the gain set at 10 decibel. And final fix is going to be the filter. 
the flanger minus one. Let's set the cutoff knob at 289. Drag the LFO to it and set it at 7. Set the resonance at 64%. And automation at 70. Awesome. And set drive at 25%. can hear so many difference using this single flanger minus filter. And final touch, let's add the vibrator effect. It's very simple. Let's use the second LFO to automate the master tuning. Disable the bipolar type and Set it at 1. Set the rate at 1 16th and move it down a bit. For a very gentle effect. The more you are raising this envelope up, the more vibrato and obviously pitch distortion you are getting. So. We want something very gentle. Awesome, there you go. We are done on the serum side. And let's go to the post-processing. It's really, really basic. All I have over here is just a multiband compressor. It's the OTT. With this kind of settings. You can just copy-paste those and there's some EQing. So clean, it sounds like this. Not a big difference. Another nice trick about this sound that I want to show you is if you slightly modify this first LFO envelope, you will get a almost completely different sound. Check this out. Same applies to the filter settings. Checks the difference while I'm shifting the resonance position. this kind of robotic sound for maybe for future rhythm tracks. So I'm sure you'll find a really nice and creative use for this sound and I will be really happy to hear the final result. So feel free to share with me your stuff on my Discord server. Also I want to inform you that you can get this particular FL Studio project, all serum presets from it and all samples on my Patreon page. So feel free to check it out. You won't regret, I promise you. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, leave comments and subscribe to my channel. This really motivates me to make more music making content and to share all my knowledge and experience with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next one. Bye.